just doing this for documentation purposes, um, kind of like I'm not going to be streaming, uh, like with the intent of interacting with people. Um, so this is just for going to go to YouTube. So, um, back in, in January around sort of the 18th and 19th of January, I was at my cousin's further north and, um, what I noticed is that upon arriving, it was immediate. It was really immediately clear that uh, like the yard was a lot more open than it had been previously. It felt like so. There's a caravan there, and so this is a caravan that had already been damaged by me because I'd gone on the roof and damaged the roof, and then my grandparents had smashed into it, and that had caused a big a lot of damage. The caravan had been moved further down, and so that made it more open. But what was immediately mo so. I mean, other people thought it was just that that had changed mostly and some sort of brush below that had been cleared. But in fact, what I noticed right away is that there's this main tree that was in the front yard, uh, which was a Cairo tree, um, which is you know a type of tree that's typical to uh, sort of coastal northern New Zealand. And, um, and it was gone. It was gone. And so I thought, oh, okay, so they got rid of it. And it was, it was a bit sad because it, it was a quite nice tree. And so then, just a few hours later, we were on the yard, and I, I remarked to my cousin, and I told her, well, uh, I see you got rid of the Cairo tree. And she said, no, there, there never was a Cairo tree there. And, and so I asked for her for pictures, and she showed pictures from back when... So I, basically, I had been there before, and um, so, that was, so that was in January 2022. 20, and so I had been there back in the summer of... 2021, so a year before, and I'd stayed there for quite some time, and also I've been in the, so uh, so the summer, southern summer, so I'd been there, January, that was summer, right, um, uh, in the southern hemisphere, so I'd been there from late 2020, so in the early summer, and also sort of mid-summer 2021, so in January, and then in October 2021, so mid-autumn, um, and uh, not October, I mean April, sorry, April 2021, and so mid autumn, and and so um, there there had been this power tree, and I really had realized, uh, I mean I'd really noticed it because I like uh you know I'd been taking interest in botany, and this was a tree that actually I'd been trying to learn like the the sort of native trees of New Zealand, and I I found that one, and I realized that. that looked like that and so that it was obvious that it was almost certainly a car um and uh i liked it also because it's quite it's quite like it was quite big it was, and it was quite sort of nice this sort of nice shape and I, I i sort of appreciate that kind of thing and it was quite high it was like i don't know like six meters like 20 feet or something um you know so it wasn't a you know cars never grow all that big but like that it was a pretty sizable, sizable thing in it, and also it blocked the view of the water, um, and so that was maybe a, a downside of that tree, and so, so, and, and I just had these memories, both from, you know, for arriving, and you see the car tree, and then from the, the living room, you just look out, and there's this car tree, and so there it was gone, it was much more open, and I could also see from the living room that there's more view of the water, um, but I, I so I asked my cousin, and so she uh, she said, no, there never was one. And I asked her to show me pictures. And she showed me pictures back from from late 2020 when I should have been there. And it wasn't there. So like, it was gone. So it was also gone from the pictures. Um, and it was gone from her memory. And it was gone from my, my grandparents' memory, who also lived there. Um, and it's just so weird. So obviously this has just been completely wiped. Everything about it has been wiped. The tree has been wiped. The photos have been wiped. The, the, and the memory has been wiped of other people. Um, oh, hey, analysis, please. Um, so I'm just talking about my story. This is, uh, as I've been saying, I'm just sort of doing this briefly. I'm going to be posting this on YouTube, so I'm not going to be, do be streaming very, very long. Um, so I'm just, basically, this is a story that there's a tree that disappeared. Uh, and everything about it has just disappeared. So, like, pictures of it have disappeared. Other people's memory of it have disappeared. But I remember it very clearly. And so, like, so then you could ask, well, am I 
So like logically people would say, well, you're going crazy. You just imagined this tree, but uh, like, no, I, I didn't. It was like, it was real. Uh, I, I remember being there and seeing it and like, I, it wasn't an implant. It's not an implanted memory. I mean, I, I like, I was there. Like, it's, it's hard to explain, but like, I remember. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's, I, I'm sure it was there. I'm sure it was there. And so, so obviously, so I, I believe in this, this Gorth thing, right? As a, the theory for, for why weird supernatural stuff is going on. So the, my explanation, of course, is that the Gorth has caused all of this to disappear. So the Gorth has literally just made it, poof, it just made it vanish because the Gorth can do that. It can just make stuff vanish. It can make objects vanish. Uh, and so obviously it didn't just make the tree, so it made a whole big tree vanish, and it also made pictures vanish. And it made, it literally wiped the memory, so it actually like made, you know, connections of in within neurons of people vanish too. So, and obviously this is, I mean, very frightening, because it can literally, it means they can just do anything to us. It could also just kill us, right? It could just make a few extra, you know, a few neurons, like it could just make our brain stems vanish and we would all die immediately, right? Or it could, it could also make stuff appear. And so it could just make a bit of like cyanide appear inside us. And then, you know, you know like it literally could just kill us all at any time. Um, and so, and, and it would if it thought that it had to, because uh, we were threatening it. Um, so, so again, this unfortunately shows that we literally just have no chance against it even more than than just based on the fact that, you know, from because of the fact that it can predict the future, obviously the fact that it showed itself to me means that it knows that it can, um, you know, like presumably just also mentally make us like, uh, ha, like just through manipulating our minds, not through manipulating matter, but just through manipulating our minds, it knows that it can create enough discord among people so that we don't uh, end up wanting to fight it. Um, but on top of that, even if we did have the willpower to fight it, it could just kill us all anyway. So we, we're, we're doubly just, we're doubly at its mercy. Um, but so so the interesting thing is, I'd already heard about, you know, stuff like, you know, I mean, I'd, for, for a very long time, I'd already been aware of stuff being, you know, disappeared like that, uh, and often disappearing and then reappearing somewhere else. Um, and... So, or in the same place. Um, and so, like, I, I I wasn't really all that surprised in a way, but it felt really, I mean, the fact that not just the tree had disappeared, but then all the memories and everything made me wonder for a while if uh, it wasn't actually um, like a, a, a case of being in a parallel universe, uh, which is not something I've ever really believed in. And I didn't really fully believed it, but I, I did actually, like, seriously, kind of half, I, I did sort of half believe it at that point, um, because I'd seen, like, the people that are into uh, a particular instance of sort of memory change, which is what they call the Mandela effect, um, and it's where, like, people remember something, in this case, like, Mandela is named after, yeah, like a multiverse where you have parallel universes, but in fact, it doesn't really explain anything, right? Because, like, the Mandela effect is that some people remember that Nelson Mandela had died in, like, 94, when actually he died more recently, like 10 years ago or something. And he died in prison. No, not 94, sorry, like 84. Uh, he died in prison uh, before, you know, before the end of uh, the apartheid regime. And so before he became president. And, um, and then suddenly they were all surprised to learn that he died actually recently. Um, and so, like, lots of people were thinking that as a hypothesis that they switched universes and so that they had the memory from this other universe instead where Nelson Mandela had, in fact, died. Um, but the sort of reason this actually isn't a parsimonious explanation for all this is that, well, it, like, if you actually had parallel universes, you'd have a lot more differing things than just just like one thing like that, like lots of other things would be different because like 
you know, there's also the butterfly effect for it. If there's just one little change in a system in the long run, you're going to have huge differences, right? So we shouldn't expect there to be just the difference of Nelson Mandela and everything else being the same, right? That does not actually really make sense. If you had parallel universes, you would expect things to diverge quite quickly. Uh, and as a result, well, one of the things that would diverge as well is the position of uh, things in the universe, right? You have minute differences and you'd end up with like the planets being in very different relative positions within the universe. Um, and so you would still also require teleportation to go, like you wouldn't have, you know, the parallel universe wouldn't be, actually be a, a just almost complete identical copy. And so you, you wouldn't have like equal positions and you couldn't just you know, go across to the other universe, but then be in the same equivalent spot, you'd end up somewhere in the middle of space, because your planet would be somewhere else. Um, and so, really, like, it still requires teleportation. And we already know that teleportation happens. We know that the Gorth can make, I mean, we know that stuff disappears, we know that stuff appears, and presumably by the Gorth. Um, and we know that like if stuff can appear and disappear that means also that like neural connections could appear or disappear and so a much more parsimonious explanation rather than invoking a whole new universe that's actually almost identical except for like just one thing with being like Nelson Mandela and then there are like other differences that other people are mentioning right but each has its own little difference well instead of having all these different universes that bizarrely just have one difference, which is not really expected. And also, like, there's these weird geography Mandela effects, which are weird because they just, they, they look silly. Like, they look like a, a person who just not really learned geography. And so they imagine that this continent was, like, in a different place. And it just doesn't really look very natural somehow. And so that really indicates to me that that is just nonsense. So I think that, for instance, the geography, all these things to me are just implanted memories. Um, so I think most of these people who are experiencing the Mandela effects are people who have implanted memories that basically the Gorth is creating connections between the ner nerve cells of people. And that makes them basically, you know, that makes them suddenly uh, think that they've, you know, experienced this one actually they haven't. So I think there's memory implantation. Um, and that is what accounts for that. And in some instances, it's the opposite is that there really was something and then it really was changed by the Gorth. And I think this is what the case was in, in my situation. I don't think I had a memory implantation. Um, I think it's the opposite. I think in that case, it's a memory that has been wiped of other people and it, the tree that has been disappeared. And so that that's my explanation for, for that. And so, yeah, that is, um, that is the way I, I see it. And, um, yeah, so, so that was, uh, interesting. And it also brought me to, um, the, 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 that moment for, for about 24 hours, I really was seriously thinking that I was in a parallel universe. And until I, I realized all that I've said to, to explain why I think it actually isn't. And so as a result of that, I actually sort of came to a new insight about the Gorth. And I'm going to talk about that next in just, uh, in the next quick stream I'm going to make.